they want to say, oh, she was fired because she's a black woman. And it, meanwhile, the, the oh, truth God. is the only reason she had the job is because she was a black woman. That's what people are objecting to. If she had been qualified, if she had done her job well, if she'd been a true scholar, even if she'd been a leftist, that would have been fine. I mean, look at like, and I'm not just picking conservatives, but look at Ayan Hirsi Ali. She's a black woman. She's totally brilliant. I guarantee you Ayan Hirsi Ali has never plagiarized anybody in her life. I'd be thrilled if she got elevated to the president of Harvard or she's at the Hoover Institution, let's make it Stanford, tomorrow, as would most people who are objecting to Claudine Gay's behavior. It's not about race or her gender for people who want her gone. It's, it's the fact that she's a fraud. It's the fact that she doesn't belong in the position and we all know it. And even the people at Harvard have known it for a long time. Yeah, but this is what the communist does, Megan. They know that too, the people who are using that. They use these shields forever because they've always been effective on the right because the right has some sort of a moral founding, even though the right can get crazy too, but they have some sort of a moral fabric and the communist does not. He has no moral fabric. So he uses your values against you. You would you, if you if someone actually thought you were a racist, Megan, if they genuinely thought that that would bother you because you're not because you're a human. It would bother you if somebody thought that the communist knows that they know you're not, but they know that. So they understand a great way to maybe attack Megan Kelly or destroy her arguments is simply call her a racist. They do this all the time. You're a misogynist. You're a racist. You're a Nazi. You're a white supremacist. And what it does is. It gets you off the topic at hand. I see the right play this game all the time. It gets you off the topic at hand, and now you're talking about things they want to talk about. Uh, racist, mm -hmm. I, uh, I've got black friends, and now you're not even talking about the issue at hand. I watched it happen during the final couple of years of Trump's presidency when he would give an interview, and every time the reporter would have Trump denouncing white supremacy 18 minutes every single hour. Well, yes, I denounce white supremacy. Do you denounce it? Yes, I denounce it playing their game on their field with their refs, enforcing their rules, and we wonder why we lose the messaging battle. The race, misogyny, all that crap, anti-gay stuff, all that stuff's just a shield they use to shut you up. We have to stop letting it work. You are so right. Oh my God, what you said is so right, and, and I'll give you an example today of it in our current presidential politics. Nikki Haley was asked over the Christmas break by, yes, it was obviously a Democrat plant, what started the Civil War, which she didn't answer well. She did not mention slavery. But wh who the fuck, sorry, is, is talking in 2024 uh, presidential race about, gee, what led to the Civil War? Is that an issue? We're worried about the border. We're worried about the economy. No one's worried about what started the Civil War right now. So- Yep. This is the Democrats launching a bomb into the campaign of someone they perceive as a threat because the polls show she would beat uh, Joe Biden by 11 points. Trump is beating Joe Biden by some four to six points. She would beat him by 11. So they're terrified that she would get it. She's not looking like she's going to get it, let's be honest. But it'd be very helpful to have her kneecapped. So she gets asked this question. She doesn't answer it well. And now here's the follow-up on a CNN town hall that happened last night. And the CNN moderator throws the bomb back in her face again. And in answering it, she makes yet another misstep, which then Van Jones and Abby Phillips um, on CNN freak out on Nikki Haley about again when the town hall ends. Listen to SOT 10. I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina, literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. Oh, I was over, I was thinking past <laughs> slavery and talking about the lesson that we would learn going forward. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, wait, before I get you to respond, <laughs> I love that you're laughing. Wait, here's Van Jones after the fact. She was cleaning it up with a dirty rag. I mean, it wasn't a cleanup at all. Um, it's painful. I don't get it. Um, I, I think it says something about her. I think it says something about the Republican base. It's literally what you just said. I had, I, on my life, Megan, I had not seen that clip before I said it, but they all do it. All, I had black friends. See, <laughs> and, and I want everyone to understand 
Because normal people will run into this. It's not just Nikki Haley with your liberal Aunt Peggy when she shows up at the Christmas party screaming about her, her 15th abortion. You're going to run into this with her as well. When they sit down with you and they start, talk about the Civil War, what about the Confederacy? What about Nazis? They're trying to associate a term with you. They're trying to marry that term to you. They do this all the time, masterfully. And offense, you want to play offense against these people. All the GOP does is know how to play defense. What? what, what? I have black friends. Offense is, are, are you a Nazi? Yeah. Are you a pedophile? Now, that's a yeah. horrible thing to say, right? <laughs> that's a horrible thing to say to somebody, is it not? Well, is it not horrible to associate me with Nazism? If we're going to associate words that have nothing to do with me, and you're going to try to attach them to me, then I'm going to attach them back. I'm going to attach horrible words back to you. Jesse, do you, do you denounce white supremacy? Do you denounce pedophilia? Are you pro-pedophilia? Proof that you're against pedophilia right now. That's actual offense in changing the conversation. But the GOP is so scared of its own shadow, so scared of the media, so scared of how they're going to be framed. They actually get themselves talking about the Civil War at all, Megan. As and if above Van their Jones black friends. Any, yeah, of course. As if Van Jones or any of those boobs on CNN actually have a single bit of emotional attachment to the Civil War. I'm a history freak. I love the Civil War. I'm not emotional about the whole thing. There's nothing you could say that would offend me about the Civil War, because it was like 170 years ago or whatever it was. I don't do math very well. None of these people are emotional about it. They're trying to attach something ugly to you, and all the GOP does is know how to meekly back up. It's, I'm not racist. My black friends. It makes me yeah. want to vomit, honestly. I know. I, I distinctly remember it was after, I don't know which controversy it was, but it was one of the ridiculous controversies that the Media Matters crew was making up about me and allegedly being a racist. And a couple of my friends who happened to be black were like, should we go out and do a photo op together? And I was like, ah. it's a hard no. <laughs> we're good. Uh, no. But Nikki Haley just fell into the trap. And, you know, maybe she's too green. Maybe it hasn't been done to her enough. The Megyn Kelly Show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that's dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher education. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to Niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June 2023, GCU also offers 270 of its 330 academic programs online, which allows you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your university counselor. They're part of the supportive graduation team that takes a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. For more info or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.